If you know Max Webb long enough, sooner or later he will rear back in his chair, smile and tell you, I'm a simple man. Max is not a simple man. He's a complex and deep and profound man. March 2nd, 1917, I was born in Lodz, Poland. We have five sisters and two brothers. They're my parents. I'm a twin. I'm born five minutes before my sister. When I was a young boy, I was hungry for education. I remember being asked to leave Heide as my father could no longer afford this. He had great poverty as a child. He needed to help his parents put food on the table. I became a peddler on the street and discovered he had a talent as a dancer instructor. I was very good foxtrot, tango, and made some good money. Yeah, I know he was a good dancer. I didn't know he was professional. When I was 22, my father opened a grocery store in town. We supplied milk. I was a milkman. My parents did the best they could. Things were just getting better for my family, and then the Nazis occupied Lodz, Poland. He survived six years of hell with Hitler, 18 different camps. 12 of them were slave labor. Six of them were concentration. I lost my parents in 1942 in Treblinka. The only one what I found after the war is my twin sister and a brother who came back from Russia. Everybody else is gone. In 1943, I was came to Auschwitz-Birkenau. Dr. Mengele's figure decided which way we go, to the left or to the right, life or death. That's what it was. I became friends with Nathan Chappelle. We survived together, and we have been together since that time, you know. In 1945, Max and Nathan Chappelle were liberated in Waldenburg, Germany, where they had been brought from the infamous death march in December of 44. When I was liberated, I lay down on the floor and spoke to myself, I'm a man from the ashes, and I promised to myself and to God that I will do everything that was possible to bring back the Jewish heritage and Jewish life. Max and Nathan made their way from the eastern section that was occupied by the Russians across into Bavaria that was part of the American zone. And from there, they started building a community in Munchburg. After the liberation, Nathan Chappelle got together with found Sala, his sister, and I married his sister. We became brother-in-laws. <laughs> Max and his two brothers-in-law, Nathan and David Chappelle, all came to Los Angeles, and they started joint ventures with other builders to learn building in the United States. In 55, they said it's time to go out on their own, and they started SNS construction. They had no idea that it would ever become as big and successful as it did. Very successful, tremendous, and uh, I think they just sold this uh, basic company. They sold for a, a billion, five hundred million dollars. Just a basic. And they kept all their other real estate, so they were very successful. But they were honest people, and they did a good job. We did good in America. We still do. It did very well. <laughs> One of the things I admire most about Max is that he can enjoy every single day. He wakes up each morning and says, I'm up, it's a good day. I believe in God, I believe in miracles. God gave me a gift, <laughs> you know, and I'm here all the time. <laughs> I want to tell you about three things that Max Webb is. Max Webb is a dancer. When he was young, he taught dance. And even now, 
You see in the grace of his movements and more in the grace of his life that he never stopped dancing, that he identifies beauty in the world and cultivates it, that he has the sensibilities of a dancer, that he believes that there is no everyday movement, but that everything can be grateful and gracious, that every walk can be Max floating by, creating of an everyday moment, something memorable and beautiful, and still he teaches dance. The second thing Max is, is a builder. But it does him no justice to say that all he builds are buildings. He builds communities. He builds lives of those who are close to him and even the lives of many whom he does not know. Max is a lover. It might strike you as strange to call someone a lover, but that's what he is. He loves those who were taken from him, those whom he has lost, both in his youth and in his recent history. He loves them, he remembers them, he memorializes them, because Max is a lover. He loves his family that he is blessed to have here today, and he teaches them how to love each other. And Max loves so many of you, so many here, throughout the Jewish world. This is a man who came out of the kingdom of the night, and the whole intent of that darkness was to destroy Jewish dance, Jewish building, and Jewish love. That's what they sought to wipe away from the world and this single man through camp after camp and year after year, through hardship and loss and anguish and pain, he never stopped dancing, he never stopped building, and God knows he still loves. Max Webb is a great man and everyone who knows him feels that. Not only because he has done great things, not only because he has endured great suffering, but because every single day, Max dances and builds and loves.